Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. Guys, do me a favor, before we get started, do me a favor. Oops. Obliterate the subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And then when we're done with the video, after it's all done and you've watched it in its entirety, go ahead and check out michaelsfishroom.com. Pretty cool plecos and guppies over there. Anywho, it is Fry Fry Friday. I hope everyone had a great fishy week. I am in Las Vegas for business, but uh, I have a ton of pleco fry in the fish room and I need to feed them pretty much every day to make sure they stay healthy and they grow. And to be honest, I don't want to ask one of my sons to come down every day and drop a handful of algae wafers. I just don't want to put that responsibility on them. In addition, I just figure... Um, they could do something wrong, they could add too many, you know what I'm saying. So here's my solution. I feed these to my plecos anyway, but normally I cut them in smaller pieces, but I got these mini cucumbers from BJ's. Uh, I don't know if you have a BJ's near you, but it's like a Costco or a Sam's Club. It's a big wholesale club. You know, gotta buy large stuff. But this pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mini cucumbers was three bucks. Now, what I do is I peel these and then I drop them in the tank. That's what all the forks are for, people. Uh, I drop them in the tank and they nibble on them all day. Now, one of these will probably last, depending on the pleco tank, I would normally cut them in half and after maybe two days, they'd probably be gone. Some people say, oh, you shouldn't leave it in there. They rot. They never last that long to rot. They always go. In my albino bristle nose tank, which is currently a disaster because I've tried to clean it a little bit, um, I have two different batches of fry at two different stages, so there's probably at least 150 fry in there. So they'll destroy this in a day or two, maybe two days or three days. And then in the super red tank way down there, we had another batch of fry the other day. They're itty bitty and adorable. And uh, they'll need some uh, food all the time of course in the lemon blue eye tank we have some fry but they're a little bit bigger so um and then you know we have the tanks that are, are i'm still waiting for a spawn so i want to feed those guys too so here's what i'm going to do folks i'm going to peel a cucumber and i'm going to show you how i put it in a tank grab a snack and a beverage and uh come on back All right, fishy folks, I'm still in the fish room. Uh, I just had to get my supplies, which a bunch of paper towels, a vegetable peeler, and the cucumber. Now, I always peel my cucumber. When I don't peel it, I feel like they, don't, they can't eat it all and only one or two can eat at once. So when you peel it, all the uh, flesh is available for them to eat. Meat, I guess it would be meat. The flesh would be the skin. Anyway, uh, if you like cucumbers, these mini cucumbers aren't bad. I happen to like them with a little bit of dill dip or onion dip. Uh, but you know, that's for a healthy snack. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm all about the healthy snacks. <laughs> anyway, speaking of snacks, what, uh, what kind of snacks are you guys eating? Um, I'm going to be watching, today's actually Sunday. I'm going to be watching Manchester United play Tottenham Hotspurs. And I am going to have chips and dip and uh, chips and salsa as well. I like the Paul Newman pineapple salsa. Anywho, back to the cucumber. It's all peeled. Then I just place it on the fork as so. And then watch this. Boom. All finished. All right, fishy folks. I'm going to peel the rest of the cucumber. And um, then I'm gonna find forks and put them in tanks. So uh, stand by. All right, fishy folks, that's it for the cucumbers. We have seven left. I have to probably look in tanks to find forks or the disaster of a workbench. I haven't been able to ship any fish in over a month, so. The workbench tends to get cluttered up quite quickly. Uh, looks like some lights went out. Anyway, 
I'm gonna go find forks and then uh, drop them in tanks and then come back and show you, so stand by. All right, fishy folks, I forgot that my buddy Greg Jones from My Aquarium Box sent me this screw cumber to try. Um, it's basically just a couple pieces of aluminum um, that look like a spring and you basically um, screw the, the cucumber like this and this will weigh down the, the cucumber so you don't have to use a fork. I'm cheap, I wouldn't buy it, but it's coming in handy because I ran out of forks. Now, if you don't want to use one of your forks, if your wife or husband would get mad or mom or dad, buy the screw cumber at my aquarium box. It does work, it does come in handy, it's just not something I would spend money on, but that's just me. All right, fishy folks, stand by, cucumbers and tanks. All right, fishy folks, these are my adult albino bristle nose that have never spawned for me. Clearly I have at least one male and one female in there. Uh, they're pretty messy, tank's pretty dirty as usual. If you don't like it, I don't really care. Anyway, you can see them immediately attacking the cucumber. Um, and of course, just like any other fish, they can go without food for probably a week without a problem, but I am trying to breed them, so I do want them to eat every day if possible. Now, while I'm gone on vacation, uh, my middle son will come down here and feed the rest of the tanks twice in six days, so roughly every three days. Um, and that's all they need. They don't really need to be fed every day. In the wild, they probably don't eat every day, but that's just me. They could probably go all week without food, but I'd rather them have uh, food to help with the breeding because, as you know, this is a breeding for profit fish room. This isn't a fish room where people come and just look at tanks and they look pretty, or I film videos and all my tanks are perfect. This is an actual working fish room, and it is a disaster. And to be quite honest, I don't really care. Anyway, these guys are going to town on the cucumber. Let's uh, let's check one more tank. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. These are my super red bristle nose, and uh, there's was actually fry born just the other day, maybe last two nights ago. There's one right there. Hopefully, you can see it. He's tiny. And then, of course, there's the first batch just annihilating those green beans that I dropped in last night. I dropped in a pretty big handful last night. Um, it's come to a point with all the fry and all the breeding of plecos. I need to open two cans of green beans. And I fed a little heavy because um, I was too lazy to bring a can upstairs and put it in the refrigerator when it was half done. So they'll eat it. I'm not really concerned. You can see there's a cucumber with the screw cumber. Um, accessory install but just look at how many fry there are i mean there's really a lot whoa look at them and they're so cute they're adorable anyway hopefully these will be big enough for sale uh as the weather breaks but i i have a feeling closer towards the summer these will be ready i do have a couple other grow out tanks of super red bristlenose plecos for those that have already ordered and um, they're still currently on back order because I don't really know how many I have and how many are sold. So I put them on back order. If you want to buy them and secure your place in line, that will be great. If you don't want to buy them and risk me running out, that might happen too. You can see that there's uh, an adult female red, super red bristlenose already attacking the cucumber. Um, and that's good. There's actually three different caves in this tank. There's uh, there's this one, which is one of the uh, watering. Oh, did you see that pleco? Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. This is one of the watering spikes that I use. And then there's a D-shaped cave right there. And then there's another cave with a removable back way in the back. But uh, I, don't, I don't pull the eggs. I let the parents raise them because I'm lazy and it seems to work. All right, fishy folks, that's it for the how to feed Pleco Fry while you're not home. Have a great day, and I'll uh, see Here's my solution, and I feed these to my guppies, uh, my guppies, ha <laughs> ha. All right, fishy, fishy,
Да-да-да-да-да-да-да-да.